Today there was a very big fight over here and for a second I thought there's going to be a several divorces but not wedding divorce, <laughs> marriage divorce but friendship divorces and I told them look in a fight from where the fight erupted if you're a little conscious then you'll come to know it can be the food what you have taken one so it is a food which is talking not the reality the second is circumstances whatever be the reason you must always go back to your root to find out that you will never ever allow the foundation to be shaken it is like the kite flying and you're flying on the top don't spit on the foundation you allow the foundation to pull you as long as the foundation pulling you you will be able to fly beautifully once you understand that there won't be any fights between husband and wife brothers and sisters you'll be rooted to your tradition allow the fight because that is what the body needed body is trying to express if they cannot express on you husband and wife or the father and mother brothers and sister ladies then to whom do they express? They go and express outside. They will be getting killed. Misunderstanding will be more. But here there cannot be misunderstanding if you are rooted. Yes. Even when you are walking also you are rooted on your leg to get the balance. When you travel in the bus to get the balance. That is very important. Please keep that in mind to avoid a lot, a lot of fights. What I see in our Knockdown fighting is we have been taught to no friend. Yes, when you're fighting time, there's only one love relationship is you are in deep in love with your techniques which you practice and you put the techniques in the best possible way on the weakest point of the opponent or the strongest point of the opponent. Never mind, put it in the practice. And the opponent shouldn't feel bad. The opponent should feel happy that your your partner, your friend has, has ex expressed his best technique with the best power so that he can go back to his drawing room, go back to his to do his homework and become more stronger. If his friend doesn't do that, tomorrow he will be weak. So it is best to express the best fight. So you should allow your brother and your sister to express the best. So your weakness will come out. And you become more strong to go back to your drawing room. Such is the power of a family which you should create it. Today is 800 day finished. I am stepping on to the 801st day. With all your blessings and with all your prayers and your support through the social media to make me keep going. Ramayana. Lord Rama gave Hanuman a quizzical look and said, What are you, a monkey or a man? <laughs> Hanuman bowed his head reverently, folded his hands and said, When I do not know who I am, I serve you. And when I do know who I am, you and I are one. What a beautiful, yes. When you do not know your family are behind you and you always keep touching the feet yes, of your parents, of your elders. Because it's not that you are a monkey because you do not know. The learning stage is full of chanchala. Hence, Lord Rama called Hanuman a monkey. Actually, Hanuman structure was not there. It is just is calling a very, very powerful shishi, a disciple, a student monkey. Because the student is wavering and it is the master's duty to find out how to control it through karma yoga before he can go and sit in the dhyana to meditate. Yes, he has to go to the process of karma yoga, raja yoga and Bhakti Yoga, all these stages, three stages are full of chanchala, wavering mind, every time suspicion, suspicion. God has given the best and he keeps on playing the fool and it is the duty of the elders. Hence Lord Rama gave Hanuman a quizzical look and said, what are you? 
the moment you say what are you you are lost you might say i am so and so no i am from so and so religion gone i am from so and so community i mean it i came from a father and mother god that says zen took this particular quote and kept on asking what was your name before when your parents were born zen asks what was your name before your parents were born suppose your father is not married to your mother what was your face before when your parents were born were you a hindu a christian a muslim a brahmana a satya a vaishya a shudra were, were you a male or a female the deep deep rooted question of what ramana mahashi kept on telling you ask who am i ask who am i ramana mahashi kept on telling everybody to ask that will be the best position to understand hence lord ramana said what are you and a monkey or a man yes and a hanuman couldn't reply because he was deeply in love nobody will reply especially our indian women never reply to the man hey, whatever he wanted he can tell in front of the public but that has become too much and it's degrading no 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 the women of india has been so trained so beautifully like a hanuman and uh, the men thought hanuman means is a monk she is a monk no 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 he's got the greatest quality of self because the hanuman the name hanuman the monkey itself is, is trying to know the chanchala of yours he is taking is a shock absorber of lord rama what old lord rama or as master has got the chanchala it is taken by the magish a shock absorber of the car try to understand that not that the master great the shock absorber sometimes more powerful than the master but it is just the pure love of the tintin lady just to ex, 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 accept what to the man is not the city women there is point one person who just barks back or talk back what to we do but the indian culture is so deeply it is just a love relationship what does it matter what he says because whatever comes from the mouth of the husband is gospel of truth and it has been also said what will coming out what will actions come out from the from the wife side is gospel of truth it is only pure it is just a song and the husband and wife is just going as time passed when the invaders came the segregation came especially when the uh, muslim invaders came and the british invaders came i think the separation came and man started be- believing him. his ego has gone up he thought the person who is serving are a slave person who serves slave uh, serving is just stupid he is a maid servant no, no the person who is serving is a shock observer if that uh, person was good and uh, was not there the vehicle would have crashed the master's vehicle would have crashed that's why lord rama to test to ask what are you a monkey or a man hanuman board is here that is such a beautiful well, really folded both the hands for the moment you see the indian namaste you know the indian namaste when you when you fold both the hands like this indirectly telling i and you are one yes together let us go we are not separate not a gap in this which i've been telling for a long time and here in the ramayana it is exactly come came he folded his hands so hanuman the shock of super folded both his hands when i do not know who i am i so yes because i never looked into me to find out who i am i have i've just wanted to serve you so that i get the greatest experience you are the lord you are the master so why should i get the best cream out of you yes the best cream out of you before i could lead other people that was what is when i do not know who i am i serve so, yes i serve so. i am not wanting to look i should not look immediately to the age of 60 i thought i will just serve so. and when i do know who i am the mind the moment i knew Yes, I can lead because with so many experiences, there won't be a smallest doubt. Then you and I are one. You and I are one.